Welcome back to SketchUp for Architecture Students, brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. Now we're going to add another element to our roof, and we're going to create a roof ventilator so that the hot air that rises inside the building has a means of escape. Now it's primarily to demonstrate how we can use the Follow Me tool to make lathed elements, or those that elements that are kind of rotating around a central axis. So like I have done in the past, I'm going to create a template for this in the ground plane. So I'm going to just use my pencil tool to make an element. So I'll just go back to this first line that I've drawn. Let's make sure that it's the right dimension, I'll make it 150 radius, that looks a bit better. Now what I'm going to do, I'll give myself a top view so I know exactly what I'm doing. Give a weathering angle to the top of the ventilator, bring it back at a perpendicular angle through there and finish off that ventilator like that. So that's a, a simple uh, half section through the ventilator. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the path for the Follow Me tool to uh, rotate around. Now if I try and draw on the ground plane through here, it's snapping to the ground plane, which isn't helpful to me because I need the circle at perpendicular to that element. So what I'm going to do, I know that this is a component, so it's not going to affect it if I draw on here. I'm just going to draw a circle any old size. Double click on that. Then I'm going to move it into location. I'm going to just get rid of that surface. Now in the exact same way that we made the trim around the window. I'm going to select the path that I want this to rotate around, then select the Follow Me tool, select the surface, and there we have it. The element has rotated and we have this funny mushroom shape as a result. Now I'm going to triple click to get all of those elements selected. Go to Roof Cladding. I'm going to fill it. Oops, that looks like a wood. I'm going to fill it with the roof cladding so that it matches the rest of the roof. Triple click it again. I'm going to make it a component. Let's call it roof ventilator. Create. We'll close off that materials palette. Now I'm going to rotate this element so that it's the right side up. So I'll hold the shift key down keep that alignment correct. It doesn't exactly matter where I put the protractor so long as I'm accurate with my inputs to how much I'm rotating it. I'm going to pick up my component from its peak, locate it at a known point through there so I know that it's right in the centre. I'm going to have a look at this from the end and I'm going to move move it up I'm going to constrain it to that axis blue axis pull it up so that some of the element is still coming beneath the roof but it's as high as it needs to be I'm going to look at it in plan select that element again I'm going to pick it up from a known point bang in the middle shift key to constrain it and then I'm going to find the midpoint of the roof there it is and so there we have it if we look at this in three dimensions there we can see our roof ventilator cheerfully taking the hot air away